Hi guys and welcome once again to the RC Model Geeks. Today we're in the shed with our captain Rob and uh, he's going to introduce the rest of the video. I am indeed. So what we're going to do, um, just got a new Tyrannus E here which is the Euro style tray Tyrannus uh, and because we're in the UK it's unfortunately got uh, EU software on it or should I say it did have. We've, uh, we've reflashed the transmitter with the international software um, and what we've got to do is flash the receiver with the international software. So I thought we'd show you how to do that because that's more confusing than reflashing the, uh, the transmitter. So the first thing you've got to do is make up um, an interconnecting lead that will go from your Tyrannus to your receiver like this one here. And we'll, uh, we'll do a little diagram uh, for that, because it's not a standard uh, lead. Okay, once you've made your uh, lead up, you need to connect your receiver and your Tyrannus together using the cable. The cable has to go a certain way round and uh, we've marked it up uh, as an RX here and a, a TX on that one. So it goes into the smart port on the receiver like that and then once you've opened up your Tyrannus E or your normal Tyrannus you need to access the external RF module port and on the Tranis E that's right here. So the next thing you need to do once you've plugged your cable into your receiver is plug the cable into the Tranis. Now on the E the cable goes just like this and if you've got a cable with the same colours as ours you'll see that the uh, the orange is basically towards the top of the Tyrannus. Okay, so we've plugged that all together and we will flip it round and we will power it up. Welcome to OpenTX. <coughs> Throttle warning. Once you've uh, plugged your uh, receiver into your Tyrannus, you need to make sure that it's actually powered. Uh, and on this one here, you can see that the red light is flashing uh, on the receiver. Now, if it's not, you need to go into the setup menu and make sure that the external RF module is turned on which powers up the external RF module or whatever you've got plugged into it. Um, and as you can see on here, um, we've got that set to mode PPM, which basically just powers it up. And we've also got the internal RF module turned off. Right, the next thing you do is power it off. The next thing you need to do is take out the SD card from your uh, Tyrannus, which on the E is in the top here, under this hatch. It's a little bit awkward to get to, but you can get to it. You just have to push it down there and take it out. Now, there's actually, there's two ways you can do this. You can either take it out and put it into an SD card reader on your computer. Um, or you can connect up your Tyrannus to your computer and access the files that way. But what you need to do is go to the FR Sky website and uh, download the firmware that you want to put onto your receiver and copy it to the SD card. Um, you best way to do it is to create a folder on the SD card. Uh, we called it firmware. Uh, and inside that folder we put the, uh, the required code that we wanted that receiver. 
Anyway, once you've done that, put it back in. Make sure it's pushed down. And clip that together. And then, power up your radio. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. You need to go into the radio setup menu and page through. Oops, page through to the SD card menu. Find the folder that you created, which in this case we called firmware. Highlight it and press the enter button. And then scroll down to the firmware that you copied onto the uh, SD card, so that it's highlighted, and then press enter again. Choose Flash External Device. And it will go and write to the receiver. As you can see, the lights are flashing on the receiver, showing that it's writing to it. And it's also showing on the transmitter there, on the main display. Then once the, uh, the firmware has been written to the receiver, you can exit out of the menu, power off the radio, and unplug it. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, then all you've got to do is put the, uh, the back back on your radio. Of course, if you had um, the normal Tyrannis, then you wouldn't have to strip it apart like this. But, um, <laughs> it's only four screws anyway. And it's uh, fairly easy to do. And that is how you flash the firmware on an FR Sky receiver. Excellent. Right, Excellent. cheers guys. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. What's this knob do? I'll give you pleasure.